was a village queen who enlisted as a nurse. She waited. Alrighty. Hello everybody and welcome to day four, or night four really actually, of the Verdun week. Uh, tonight is a three, <laughs> this is going to be fun, tonight is a three army, um, three army matchup, French, uh, French, French Chasseau, which is Hunter in French, um, Scottish Highlanders versus uh, Alpine Jaegers, which Jaeger also means Hunter in German. I find that really cute, actually. So um, tonight we're gonna start as we're gonna start as the French for the reason that I've never liked their guns very much. So I'd actually honestly like to get them out of the way. Whereas the Highlanders, I tend to enjoy some of their guns, especially the older models that they get, and um, and and also the obviously Germans are Germans, but you know, there's not much to that one though. <laughs> we all know I'm German biased. We all know. And it's the sad truth. So. By the way, uh, for those when I was playing the Stormtrooper and I was trying to pronounce the tear gas, or the, not the tear gas, but the chlorine shell, it's xylobromide, is its scientific name. Xylobromide. I used to call it like x -lo. like I was like trying to pronounce the X and I was like, this just doesn't sound like right. Ooh, a Hotchkiss. I saw one of those at the museum. <laughs> Actually, I saw all these guns at the museum. Okay, can I reload this? Ah, nope. Ah, the French, the early French in their, uh, in their red pantaloons, which was really not helpful. Ooh, I love the writing on the rifles, though. Or on the guns. The manufacturing stamps and stuff. Thought I saw something move, but no, not here. The really bright blue mountain uniform probably doesn't help. Huh? I wonder. I wonder if this weapon is like my K, uh, is like my Carcano, and if it spits. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, because he put the whole clip in there. So yeah, the stripper clip must get shot out at some point. Ouch. Reichmaster! Deutschland! That's it. That's all I hear in my mind. Gonna try a different class, although at this point, it's kind of screwed. We're kind of screwed, because that this is the guns they have. Yeah, see, like, again, same, like, rifle, and then a musket, same thing, and then, yeah, a trench knife, like, a pistol and a trench knife. The ruby and a musk. Okay, so in other words, like changing doesn't seem to matter. So I'm just gonna switch back to the uh, officer, and I'm gonna use my recon plane ability, which I did not use on the last match. So in other words, three rounds, three rounds, a revolver. <laughs> oh yo yo. Anyway, still gonna keep this. Still quite better. Can I call the plane? No, not yet. Because it's true. Because I moved away from it. Americans. Hello, my friendly Yanks. Actually, one was a doughboy, and this is a U.S. Marine. This is the early U.S. Marines. That's what they look like at first. Uh, okay. I missed that. I'm actually not surprised. Hey, hey I have five viewers. Because the sixth one would be me, so it doesn't count. <laughs> Dick the head. Yeah, alright. I'll give him some up for that. Ooh, yes, we gained ground. Oh no, we didn't gain ground. It's true, we're on the attack now. So good, the Kurgan's back there as a sniper, so he's got that all all tied down. I'll admit one thing though, when we swap to the Highlander, I might want to steal your position because one of the guns I like, I believe, is under um, that class. I'm not sure though, I'll 
research that before I switch us to the Highlanders. And I'm going to give you, I'm going to give the new attack order, which if the bots follow it, gives a bonus. Which the bots will, um, so. Also, one thing I've noticed, though, is what they did in Tannenberg is the radios. Because in Tannenberg, you use, you actually call stuff in by radio. You actually don't have, like, this. Like, you don't have the ability to call the recon plane. You actually have to find radios, which is actually kind of cool. Or telephone, telephones. It's one of the two. It's technically not a radio. It's a field telephone. Sorry, and you have to um, you have to call in your stuff, but you get a list of options. So, for example, for the Germans, as you level up your German squad, you have the different gases you can call. So you have xylobromide, then you have the mustard gas, and you have another one, one or two, plus they're different sizes. The Austro-Hungarians have different size artillery to call in, different amount of rounds, including their special 105 millimeter. A heavy siege gun, which they have unlocked automatically because it is their special, their squad special, and stuff like that. So it's a bit different. Both both games really do work a bit different, but there are ideas from this one that I wish they'd put in Tannenberg, and there's ideas from Tannenberg I wish they'd put in this one. Because in Tannenberg, machine guns are not squad based; they are entrenched, like they're in placements. They're actually physical like in placements that you. Did my head come off? Oh. That's so gross and cool. My head came off. Oh my god, I did start the video, right? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. Um, and, like, they're physical, and you grab onto them, and, like, you have to shoot them. And generally, you carry, like, one belt, usually, of, ex of extra ammo, which you can grab a fresh belt, because unlike in this one, in Tannenberg, ammunition resupply is also a thing. Um, whereas that's like, for example, that's what I wish they'd bring over. Now, the one thing I don't like that they did in Tannenberg is certain members of the certain squads can drop an ammo box, which becomes battlefield-ish, and that's where I start drawing a line of problem. Because for me, the reason we're done is so out there for me, and it's such a, a um, it's such like a gem, is that it does not have Call of Duty or or. <laughs> It doesn't have Call of Duty or, you know, Battlefield, ouch, Battlefield, um, elements, and I became a little bit unhappy when they had announced that, uh, that they were doing that with Tannenberg. I became a little bit like, oh, okay, whatever, we'll see, you know. <laughs> because Tannenberg is a much larger map, I, I see why they did it. See, there's a recon plan. I should call mine in, actually. I think mine is ready. Um... I see why they did it. I still don't like it though. Even if there is sensible logic behind it, like, like, like for example, even if logically, uh, whoa, I saw that guy. That was a grenade. Nope, it wasn't a grenade. I'm seeing things. Ooh, yeah, but that guy got me though. Uh, even if it's logical, I feel like it's slightly game-breaking to have somebody just carry a big box of ammo with them. It's the, so far the one and only feature I don't like that they did to Tannenberg. The rest I accept. Field phones and boxes in locations you capture, I agree with. But not like, there you go. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> but I don't remember which squad member does it or whatever i don't know if everyone does it i it's when i do tannenberg like i was supposed to do tannenberg today but i ended up sleeping i ended up just pretty much for once being on vacation mm, being on vacation so i went did got up did brazilian jiu-jitsu exhausted myself came home slept more um but i i'm gonna maybe try to do tannenberg tomorrow and if not i'm gonna do it saturday for sure and then there will be a Tannenberg week, but the point is, is in, ta in the, the Tannenberg, you'll, you'll get to see how it differs. Even those who managed to watch me play it before I introduced these weeks, you may have already seen. This is more like claustrophobic and Western Front, whereas Tannenberg and the Eastern Front was more mobile, mobile movement. Armies moved more, and that's very true. So both play to their true respective fronts. That's a friend. Okay, I'm going to reload, because... One round is not going to save me. But again, they did match up the squads, though, like they did in this. So again, Austro-Hungarians with uh, Russian troops. They both have special arty they can call in and stuff like this. Germans with Cossacks. Again, 
gas. Both of them had gas. Uh, they both call gas. Um, and then Romanians and Latvians are with the Bulgarians. They're all three squads act the same. They are actually what their ability is. They all start with all L squad members start with ammo, extra ammo for the machine guns, and something else. They can do something else. Same with the Germans. Same with the other ones. They can all do something else on top of like their arty calls. Like uh, recon planes belong to the Bulgarians, Romanians, blah blah blah. But that one is still in its infancy, and so is this one. They continue to add more squads to this one. Honestly, I don't even know who's next. Maybe somebody for the Germans, maybe not. And same thing for Tannenberg. I'd like to see Italians, but a lot of people keep asking for Italians. Um, but I don't think so. I'd like to see Serbs. And the only reason the Serbs weren't added is because the factions were voted for. So Romanians, Bulgarians, and Latvians were voted for. So it's not like the the guys just randomly picked them and be like, ah, like Serbs. I'm sure will come soon, especially since Serbia was the original reason why the First World War started. Effectively, Crown Prince um, Franz Ferdinand was shot by a Serb, a nationalist Serb. And, and though, yes, Austria-Hungary was always eyeing Serbia way before that, that only served to, like, the assassination of their Crown Prince served as, like, the cream of reason and then naturally for those who do or don't know I, I mean everyone's got different levels of history my girlfriend's well adapted with history and, and whatever that's why we click because we're, hist we're history nuts um, effectively Russia was protecting Serbia Germany was you know like or Russia vowed to help Serbia Germany vowed to help um, Ger uh, Austro-Hungary, but at the same time Germany was like, hey, we can take more ground and get back Alsace-Lorraine, which was theirs initially from the French. And then Britain vowed to, pr to help the French, so that kind of suckered them in, plus Britain with all her colonies, that was just, you know, at that rate you're suckering in, like, entire continents. Africa was a place of fighting, the Pacific was, because Japan ended up joining in on it. So it really was like a world war, but that's really why it started was because the crown prince being shot gave Austro-Hungary cases belle to attack Serbia, who actually repelled them multiple times. The Austro-Hungarians are interesting for multiple things, but I don't want to explain that right now because I want to keep that from when I play them as Tannenberg. I'm also playing another game called Making History. I'm actually playing like three different World War One games. Actually four because... Technically, Rule the Waves is set in that. Even though number two now extends to World War Two, it still starts in 1900, making it a World War One game for the beginning. And again, that's coming back Sunday. Um, so, I actually lost my train of thought. That's amazing. I do that all the time. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm playing Making History. That's right. It's called Making History of the First World War, the Great War, and it's a strategy, it's a turn-based strategy game where you lead your nations and stuff. And just as that, I'm playing uh, the Austro-Hungarians because they were ethni uh, ethnically diverse, and that's all I'm going to say because, again, I'm leaving that for when I play the Hungarians, uh, Austro-Hungarians. Although that, I guess, I can let slip. Austro-Hungarian troops in Tannenberg are Hungarian. What they're shouting and screaming and speaking is Hungarian. Um, but otherwise, though, um, otherwise, though, yeah, I'm keeping all that tidbit for Tannenberg or else I just won't have anything. They <laughs> say it now. But yeah, and I'm playing Supreme Ruler Cold War. Well, that's actually technically Ultimate, but the Cold War was one of the instances. And the game goes from 1914 to... <sighs> this was always a killing bunker when I was in Germans. It goes from 1914 to... 2020 or beyond so like literally you have years of like technology and tanks and vehicles and history to go through and it's really cool and I'm playing the Ottoman Empire which was very big and also kind of diverse because they had you know Syrians Kurds Iraqis Armenians Palestinians Jews um, Jor well Jordanians like some of those okay admittedly some of those aren't really their own people but yeah 
and stuff. So like, kind of like the Ottoman, kind of like the Austro-Hungarians, the Ottomans have like a lot of diversity, just not the same problems. Which, uh, I can say this, both nations fared poorly. Only Germany was the actual competent fucking combatant for the Central Powers. The, Ottoman, the Ottomans and the Austro-Hungarians were very poorly equipped for any concept of warfare at that time. And yet they became my favorite in Tannenberg probably just because they're like considered the underdogs. Like the Central Powers, uh, Austro-Hungarians are considered the underdogs of um, of the Central Powers. Likewise, the Ottomans would be cool to see in Tannenberg as well, because they can, they could do that. They could stretch it far enough to have an Ottoman front at least. So the Ottomans, so either Italians or Ottomans or both, and then Serbs as well, as the Serbs are missing. <laughs> hey, I have five people still. I didn't scare anybody off with my boredom. <laughs> And yes, sometimes I do think I can be boring if I talk too much. I try to educate, but let's face it, I'm also just playing a game. And that is Xylobromide. That's the chlorine. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh, either he's a sniper or that was a really good shot. And I was, I was bunny hopping too. Oh yeah, I killed a dude the other night who bunny hopped. Not yesterday, I don't remember what night it was, but I killed somebody who was bunny hopping. He jumped and I aimed up as he was jumping and paff, right in the gut. And it's really funny because usually I miss when people do that. So I was actually quite proud of myself. Ooh, French troops. La uh, later war French troops. See, later war, but they don't have the Adrian helmet yet. Could call it the Adriana helmet too. But yeah, they don't have the Adrian helmet yet, so that's stage two French troops. And that's stage one, with the red pantaloons. Very bad uniform. May have looked pretty for parade, but was not at all smart. Like us too, like we're super blue. Sincerely doubt that was a smart idea. I actually just survived that. See, this is why I wish I had a grenade. Oh, that is a grenade. Nice job, dude. You have another grenade? Oh, cheers to you, my friend. I should call in my recon plan. I keep forgetting about that. If it's not gas, I clearly don't care. Okay, I'm not even trying. Like, try a little bit, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Johan Bergman. Oh, yeah, I'm the officer. Why am I trying to spawn on others? And here's the Kurgan just having a field day with a sniper rifle, undoubtedly. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to attract them to him though, because if they don't see him, I don't want them seeing him. It's probably that dick dude that's probably shooting at me. And yes, I rock, don't ask. I don't know why. I have no answer for it. See, that's, yeah, that's mid war officer. Trench officer. Still, and the only thing they had was this little like cup metal cup thing you put on your head that was the best thing they had for protection it, it was just to actually protect your skull cap literally all it did you put it under your hat and pray because helmets didn't exist yet like they didn't like helmets like the pith helmets and the pickle hub and stuff aren't helmets because they're made of pith reed which is a plant found in india so like it's not going to stop a damn thing it took them a while before they realized what a helmet was or that they realized that a helmet could, like, actually protect a person. And then you had the French Adrian helmets, the German Stellhams, you had the British Brodies. The British being extre- the British Brody being, like, extremely, um, like, common. Also, to the Kurgan, if this ends in us with a victory, we're, we're going to search the Highlanders, because technically we've done the one match. 
Oh, that's barbed wire. As is that. Ouch. Never mind. Okay, into the trench. Forget it. Shouldn't really be along the top anymore, anyway. That guy scared me. I could have stabbed him. Oh, does that count as out of bounds? No, it doesn't. But still. Okay, see, that's a British uh, Vickers. 303 Vickers. So these must have been captured by the Germans at some point. Now we're recapturing them. Which makes a lot of sense, because that's really what it was like. Oh boy! We are dominating them. Oh, we're not gonna win. We're nowhere near their last trench. Never mind. Oh, can call the plane again. Ah, French soldier with a show show. I thought I saw a head. Yeah, there's a head. Yeah. The French infantry have better guns than this, though, admittedly. What the fuck? Got him. The Senegalese troops are cool too because they all get machetes, but they too have a lot of this problem. A lot of their older, their rifles are even, pardon me, older, and they have issues. And they have the ammo issue too. Seems to have been a constant. Yeah, I, I missed a lot. <laughs> God damn it, would you stop trying to do that? Wow, the Kurgan must be an amazing sniper. Even I can't even try to take kills that far. Mind you, I don't play sniper much, but still, like, that's amazing. Stand your ground! Well, we are standing our ground. Ouch. Oh, I still got two guys, though. Mm, 14 deaths to four kills. Now it feels like we're done. I'm almost about to just take a pistol for the lols. And just... Pounce. Pounce. Excuse me, sir. Your bayonet was in my face. Oh, that's barbed wire. Okay, recon's almost ready. Okay. Yeah, again with the yawning and I napped too. That's just, I guess that's just what happens when you have a heart issue. Prone is blocked? Good, because proning is not at all what I wanted. Now, yes, but... Oh. Ooh, German mess tin. I think. Yeah, it looks like him. Really? See, that's a German mountaineer that I just killed. The guy in the really, like, field green, which is what they would call that. The field green uniform. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not a good place. You'll suck, ow. <coughs> hey, Francais, bougez, s'il te plaît.
All right, so one matches the Highlanders, and then we swap sides, and we do Alpine Jaegers. <laughs> Uh, don't I have anything else? Yes, I do. I have Binox. And it's FT17. Can it be manually reloaded? Yes, it can. It's interesting. It's a very old design. It's way before the, the newer ones. Got him. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think it reloads by mag. By uh, strip clip. Hmm. <laughs> they laid down smoke. Smart. Such a weird wing on the side. Holy shit, it is not loaded by stripper clip. Oof. Still, this is a nice rifle. It's nice and old. Only to be dwarfed by the Belgian Mausers and uh, a lot of the subpar, uh, subpar guns, I should say. Older weapons either given to the, the Eastern Front factions out of desperation or that they may have actually had purchased and whatnot. There's a flamethrower down there. I certainly hope that I am entertaining people. Um, kind of questioning my ability <laughs> to stream sometimes. But hey, at the height I had six people, so clearly I'm trying to do something right, or I am vaguely doing something right. Mind you, I do have a job. <laughs> it's a bit hard to stream when you have a job. Tja! Didn't even think that was gonna hit him. Pony fur pack! Oh, that's cool. I'm not gonna put myself here. Don't feel safe. Those are stormtroopers, I think. Judging by the fact that they're using pistols. Actually, hysterically, when stormtroop when the game first came out, stormtroopers only had pistols. Only the guy that gets the MP18 had a rifle. The rest all had Lugers. This is hysterical. Uh, 
This is going to be a very long video, unfortunately, to put on YouTube, and that is going to take a long time to upload. Thankfully, I can trim a little bit of the beginning. No, no. This one I didn't make too many mistakes with as far as introduction and stuff are concerned. The end will matter. As long as I don't waste time blabbering at the end, it should, it should help a lot. Sea Fox! Ah, oh, there's someone else in this world. Nice. Whoops, it's not what I wanted. Yeah, no. Get back behind the, the door. Oof. Yeah, there we go. Got a bullet right in the head. Whoops. Four. Yep, we took that. Excellent. That's barbed wire. Hang on, I'm advancing further. Relax. I know the lines are secured. Shush. That's the original spot. I think that's the starting Scottish uh, look. Ouch. Ooh, 11 points because of squad spawn. <laughs> Come on, the last little bit of the recon plane. Thank you. We have a recon plane overhead! Get your butt back into the fight! Oof! Well, an AI got me. That's fascinating. That was a Belgian. You know, you played this game way too long and identified the uniforms way too well when you can tell by the corpses or by seeing the guys. Got you. Next. Ooh, never mind. Jesus is your friend. Okay. Whoops, left Facebook on. Not the thing to have done. Uh, 
Alrighty, let's get back into this now that I turned off Facebook. <laughs> Okay, really try to aim. See something like that. Reconnaissance is almost ready again. Oof! Yeah, that I deserve. Oh, we're back to look. Yeah, we're, we're back to looking that way because the guy that had joined and that had pushed it up, he's gone now. <laughs> I had a funny feeling Artie was coming. Well, I got someone, and then I got head by someone. Welcome, new viewer. Welcome to my humble channel. Oops. Oh, shite. Okay, I'll admit that was like a huge waste. Because that guy was dead and didn't notice that. Order was followed. Excellent. <coughs> Damn it. Ah, that's mustard gas. Actual mustard gas. Holy heck. They're, they're swarming over. Well, they were swarming. God save the king! We have a recon plane overhead! Did it already pass? Ooh, a Mark 1, uh, uh, not a Mark 1, a Mark 4, female, oh, she got stuck on the trench, yeah, she got stuck, poor thing, wait, back the other way then, I'm pretty sure though if it rained enough and, the, and all that weight would probably make like, it would fall in maybe, or maybe not fall in, but mind you it's got wood, there's, um, there's a log, like a piece of the trench underneath it. Pardon me. <clears throat> Gosh darn it. I heard that. Interesting. Uh, yes, I know I just died, but I'm actually more interested by the angle of the tank's attack. If we came from this way, why is it driving in our direction unless it was retreating? Hmm. Anyway, uh, that sucked. <laughs> I'm actually going to try something different for fun. I am going to take the Webley, which works pretty damn well. 
Yeah, I suspect she was retreating, I guess. But I think if we hold this, the Germans lose again, and then we swap the Germans. We're gonna probably die horribly, but oh well. All for the Alpine Yegas. Oh, by 21 average. <laughs> That's funny. Let's try not to be had by 21 average again. Ow! Nope, instead I got had by Cfig99. They succeeded this time. Get your ass, it's over there. I mean, it doesn't actually matter. They do have one, though. That's good. Lean and burn! That admittedly was a waste. Ow. <laughs> Chaos solo. Oh, Chode solo. Okay, clearly I can't read. Eh. Order was swallowed. Nice. Order was swallowed. Okay, so it's every. I guess it's every time an AI gets into the zone, or at least. Kinda, yeah, it gets into the zone, possible. Right, would it be at all possible for me to actually get in a trench before I get sniped? Mm. Ah. Sea Fox, one, two, three. Oh, he left my, he left, uh, Sea Fox left the squad, okay. Make it out, strange rats! I mean, we're swapping soon, so. Hector Kelly, very Take cool. Charles Kennedy. Get ready. There we go. Four to one. Leave this alone. We're swapping at the end of this match. Six more minutes. Oh, gas. Jesus. What remains of it is still. Ow! Uh, 20 kills to 14 deaths. Okay, that's not that bad. The Kurgan's like 29 kills to like 11 deaths. He's just a madhouse, my man. Okay, now the gas is here again. Are you a Belgian or Senegalese? Ah, Senegalese troops, very cool. Oh yeah, that's, I forgot about that. That's what I forgot about the pistols. It's like, bam, bam. This one at least in question does it that way. You also have to reset the hammer all the time. There's a friend, right? Yeah, he's gonna be like smack in the face. 
He Tom Hanks cast away. Okay, so we killed each other. Cool. Oh man. <laughs> Flubby dubby. <laughs> That's cute. Ooh. I'm surprised that Kurgan didn't go the sniper. <laughs> Sassy Sam. Very cool. Boil. <laughs> okay, it worked. And I would love a grenade. Like... That would just make everything really better. <laughs> just toss that thing down the trench. Well, actually, for the Germans, it was... And then... Uh, no, that was World War II. That was the after. Actually, these ones have... Um, yes, actually, no. After they got the one where you could turn it and then pull it, and the original one was just a, a little cir circle, a loop with a string, and they weren't really the safest things in the world. Because if you got that snagged on, like, wire or something, you pull your pin. <laughs> Some of the troops have that one, some of the troops have the later one. <sighs> I mean, to be fair, considering how well we did as the Entente, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna at all be, like, surprised if we lose this match, and that's totally okay. Just kinda wish I had a chance to shoot that guy, really. Past the burb wire, the burb wire, and then I'm going to slowly just come up here, and I'm going to call the arrow of no planes. There. That's, see, that's the stripper clip taken out. And now on the mini-map, we can see all the baddies. That's pretty much what reconnaissance does. Hey, if you don't make us lose now, we can play along. <laughs> okay, that was just a waste of... Ouch! That was a grenade. Hey, my dude's got no legs. Oh, dear. Ow, 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 right into the wire. Okay, that's a hand too. That's a oh, legless. Sorry, I need to get pictures of this because the gore absolutely is both devastating and really well done. Die. He got me. Oh, it's a clan. Although that, I'm not that surprised. Irish butler. <laughs> Press shift for hacks. Okay, I, I realize it now. If we lose that post, we lose this. We lose the match, which means more load screen. Oh man. He got me first. Nice. And they're behind our lines. Almost in the trench. Almost. Yeah, the, the Entons are doing really good tonight. Fucking amazing. Oh, 
Okay, now they're, yeah, now they're like shooting from the side. It's a right pistol. Yeah, 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 I know I'm outside the bounds. Shush. That what I think it is? That's smoke, never mind. How'd you die? Ah, not yet. Find the position, Laden! Oops, Laden is loaded. I don't even know why I said that. Whoa, okay, he's down. We're already attacking as best as we can. Yeah, I, like, I don't even know. I, I didn't even know, like, how to even do that. How to deal with that, even. Ah, <laughs> uh, there it is. Xylo. Oh, God damn it, Xylo Broad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shush. I almost just died from execution. That was amazing. <laughs> Got him in the dick, which is exactly where I aimed. Got him, because he was an AI, which explains why he missed. You are a player who just got put down. Oh shit, they took, yeah, okay. They didn't push us back completely, but they're going to. Yay, combined squad levels, now three. Ooh. Still want to work on my stormtroopers. Oh, not again. Yeah, they're on that side. Only if... <laughs> oh shit, my squad's full. Very nice. Surround us with smoke now, are you? Ass. Anyway. I have this like tempting want to go in there, but I know it's gonna be like instant death though. So we're not gonna go that way actually, because the guys are still on that side. It's a friendly, thankfully. And you did not put a gas mask on. That's uh, level two century. With the uh, earlier armor. Protection for the head, at least shrapnel protection, or attempts at shrapnel protection.
<laughs> Missed. Missed again. Nope, gone. Mmm, the gas is low in the trench. Ooh, again with the mustard guns. Yeah, they're trying to gas us out. So that means they have considerable Canadians then. They have at least one or two squads of Canadians. We have no stars for the, I don't think. <laughs> Do we have stars for Yeah, one. Actually, we have one stormtrooper unit. Somebody's grenade just made really amazing work or something. You need to reload. Reload, reload, reload. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa. Damn, that's a Brit. Yeah, I was gonna be like, oh man, down. Oh, and oh, horses don't want to look at that. See no evil. See here, no evil. Yada yada yada. Theodore Wilhelm. He's our sniper now. So it's AI. <laughs> Oh, my head just came off. Cool. Actually, you know, for the last seven minutes, I wouldn't mind being a sniper, to be honest. There we go. A bit, a bit tired of being constantly, like, massacred here. She says, as I'm pretty sure real life soldiers would have loved to not be massacred. Okay, this is the only issue with this. It's really complicated to see sometimes. Sorry, horse. Sorry. That's a German. Never mind. <laughs> ah, that Brit, I could have had him. He moved. And he moved again. feel like the snipers that used to wait for that unsuspecting new guy to put his head up. Mmm, graves. That's great. See, I, yeah. 
I was looking for where it was coming from. Then I was going to aim down my sight. I see them now, but they're moving. So. Ah, Kurgan's the squad leader now, I think. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, he's just a friendly that I, uh, that I spawned on. Okay. Ouch! Actually, this could not have been a better position, I don't think, that they could have put me in. That's a German. We don't want to shoot our own. Hmm. I need some higher ground, unfortunately. Snipers are at their best, of course, at higher ground. And that higher ground is off limits, actually. It might be off limits because of the movement of the trenches. Yeah, it's off limits. Never mind. That's how you do that. Okay, number five is to do that. Kill. Cool. All right, let's go. Yeah, they were doing well at the start, and then the Kurgan happened. Gotta be shitting me, right? How the hell did I miss so much? Ow. <sighs> well, the, actually, the answer to missing so much would be called aim. <laughs> Okay. We're almost done. I have a scope, but let's run up like we're infantry. I will go on the record and say that this is not my type of gameplay. Uh, wow, Xylobromide and uh, I forget the actual name for mustard gas. Pardon me. Damn it. Um, I am I am very much a stormtrooper lover. Still, I like to get in and assault. I'm not necessarily a humongous fan of trying to do this stuff. Also, it just it can be hard to spot people at times, which is very fair, as people shouldn't be making it easy um, to do. 
So I concur with that, but it's not my type of playstyle. My playstyle is Stormtroopers. Run up, toss a bunch of grenades, and get in there with the MP18 and just clear them out. That is um, for sure how I, I, I prefer to run things. Eighteen, seventeen, sixteen. Hmm. Why? Because the allies. Why? Because the Entente were losing, so they they have players who left, and now what? You want me to go back there? Fix it, screw you. Yeah, we has a foothold. There we go, and it's over. I'm already gonna say this now. Yeah, uh, GG indeed. Once again, I'd like to thank the Kurgan for joining me on my adventures. And I'd like to thank all my viewers for watching. And I will see everyone tomorrow when I will uh, be doing infantry. That's it. And that is all. So I will see everyone tomorrow.